Hi, it's Stephen at Double Glazing Parts and Spares. This is just another video on my take and my method of swapping out the Wink House style door locks that are riveted in place. Rather than buying the full lock, we prefer just to drill these off and replace the gearboxes. So I'm just going to do it quickly, talk you through it. And I'll put a link in the description of any parts that we use for doing this. So, the first thing you do is drill out the two rivet heads. I just use a 4 or 5 mil drill bit just to pop the heads off. Out the cunt, so it's on the opposite side. A pair of pliers. Can be stubborn, a wee wiggle, that's your old rivets, one and two, then it's actually a Torx piece but I don't have one handy so I'm just going to use a little small flat head piece, remove this centre screw, put that to the side because you've all reused that. Then simply take your lock out of the vise and this gearbox should just part away. This is a Winkhouse Cobra gearbox. Get your replacement gearbox. Put it back in. What I'll do actually is I'll keep this one off. Because this is just an example lock. And I'll put this one back on as if it's new. Then you just slide that back on. Make sure your connections in the back are connected in okay. Put it back in the vise. Reattach this screw to the gearbox to hold the gearbox. And we actually purchased original rivets, which I'll put a link in the description. And under your gearbox again, give it a spin. And what I do is I get a little piece of flat metal. I just pop in my rivets. I'll just do the one at the do one at a time. And then I just hold that piece of metal against there. push against the rivet against the gearbox then I uh, use a punch just a punch into the opposite side of the rivet head just to widen it out as you see there's a rivet in and there's a rivet installed. Now do the next side. New rivet into the old hole. Nice and flush. Little piece of metal. Into the vise. Tighten it down. That metal's pushing against the rivet. Little punch. That'll just spread. Not wide enough. Just pull that in a bit. I've seen a bit, little kink on that bit of metal, but. There we go. That just. Undo it. And you have installed your new Winkhouse gearbox. As I mentioned, I'll put a link in the description to the new gearboxes and to the rivets. And that could save you around £100. Thanks for watching.